All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a close up look at this here, which is a Black Magic Design Ultra Studio Recorder 3G. I will also be kind of pointing out some of the really cool things about this, which makes it different from the previous one that looked the same as it, which was the 1.5G version. Anyways, this is just going to be an unboxing and a close look, and in the future, I'm going to be testing this out on my Intel NUC, and also I'm going to be testing it on my Apple. Apple Mac Mini and as soon as I've kind of like got things that work on both of those things I'm definitely going to be doing more videos about this but anyway just for now let's have a look at what it's all about and let me explain to you the differences between this and the previous one so first of all I'm just going to do a little run around the box so we can see what's on the box little bits of information that you may be interested in now I will hold on one particular part here and discuss what it's talking about however if there's anything else here that you're interested in just pause the video and then carry on at your own leisure so that's the front of the box also there's the top of the box there and that's one side of the box and that's the other side of the box so how exciting is that now on the back here there's some information there like I say what you may want to do is pause and then have a good read of that if there's stuff on there that you're really interested in however let me get to the underneath here now i'm just going to reframe the camera it gives a second okay so the reason why i've now paused on this part of the box is because it's given us some very very pertinent information as to what we can do with this particular interface and straight away we can see that we are now able to do the likes of full 60 frames progressive or up to full 60 frames progressive and that is both at 1080 and also 2k dci as well now the thing is this box is 3g the previous one was 1.5g and what that basically means the g just means gigabits per second so with this being twice the bandwidth of the previous box what that then means is that we can go up to 60 frames per second at progressive now the previous box would do something like you know 5994 interlaced but that is not the same as doing full 60 progressive frames or full 59 point nine four progressive frames so like i say that's the big difference here is the fact that we can now go up to full 60 frames per second progressive at both 1080 and also at 2k now obviously as well we've got certain variants here as well to do with psfs so basically yeah progressively segmented frames as well there's certain ones we can do and can't do across sdi and also hdmi but all that data there will tell you what you can and you can't do across both or either the SDI or the HDMI and so to the paperwork that is in the box and the first thing we get here are a couple of stickers I think I'll send them to Bandry because he loves those damn stickers that goes on the floor to me filing cabinet also here we've got a nice little notice which I really like which is basically black magic just saying look you know we are not going to send out plastic bits anymore you can go to our online facilities and download things such as software and manuals and whatnot which is absolutely awesome I totally 100% agree with that get that out the way onto the filing cabinet on the floor also here this is going to tell us that we can go and download DaVinci Resolve 16 free although at the moment I think we are going be on the likes of the beta 17s and stuff and if you're on mac m1 which is what i've bought this thing for there is the beta 17 point something for m1 at the moment so that's what that's telling us to do also a little bit there with the qr code on and stuff like that so again on the floor for the filing cabinet then lastly out of the bits of you know uh, paperwork and stuff we've basically got all this welcome to black magic and a bunch of things in there although i don't really need to run through that stuff because we want to see what the box looks like and this is exactly what the box looks like now i have to say immediately this is one of those very rare bits of equipment that is just perfectly designed to do a particular job and just do it so by that what i mean is it literally is just an input device which does one job and does that one job brilliantly well so here we go looking at this end here we have got one of two inputs of which only one can be used at any one time so we've got the sdi input here which is the serial digital interface for video links to sdi and then here we have our HDMI input for obviously stuff which is connected via HDMI. Then round the back end here, there is our Thunderbolt 3 connection there. Now just next to it, you may see what looks like a tiny hole. 
that is actually just a little light indicator as well which will just light up and kind of tally when in use and stuff like that and literally that is the box it's not exactly dead exciting but like i've just said this is one of those rare things which is built to do something and just does one thing and that that's a, i mean that's all it'll ever do but it's just gonna do it perfectly well every single time you use it okay so that really is all i can probably say about the box it literally is just something that's got one of two inputs active which then get converted to another standard at the back there and connects to a computer now the thing is what i'm going to do with this is test it out in a number of different ways the first thing is going to be to see if it will work with my new nook because i've got one of these new panther canyon nooks and i'm going to see if this is definitely going to work with that if so i'll be doing videos about that to do with obs and various other things also as well and the main reason why i've bought this is to use it with my mac mini m1 now i'm fairly sure it's going to be great with that and also black magic have just brought out the um let's see the arm m1 variation of the software for it as well so as soon as i've got that all up and running i'll definitely be doing a number of videos about that and most notably to do with capturing uncompressed with the black magic software also trying it with a couple of nle systems or post systems and then also doing some stuff with obs with it as well okay well anyway there's going to be links for this in the descriptions below and keep an eye on my channel for the other stuff that i'm going to be doing with it and hopefully this video is being useful for people to understand exactly what this box does and what it's able to capture and if you've liked the video please give it a big thumbs up also consider subscribing to my channel getting all over that bell notification icon thing i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now